What is mirroring? If you want an interactive whiteboard in your classroom, mirroring would be a great way to do that. Basically, you take a device, an iPhone or an iPad, and if you look into your iPhone or iPad, you'll see a section called AirPlay. In that, it's, it's a way to communicate with another signal. An Apple TV will allow you to communicate with another device that has AirPlay. There are other options, programs that you can download from the internet, uh, Air Server, Reflector, both of them will also do the same thing that an Apple TV would. It'll allow you to mirror an image from your iPad or tablet onto your laptop. And why would you want to do that? Well, that way you can move around in your classroom. That way you can make it interactive to make students engaged. And I'll show you some examples of how I do it in my classroom. And I'm going to show you how to use Air Server. If you are interested in any of these options, check with your schools, check with your districts in purchasing some of these items, whether it's Apple TVs or uh, licenses for Air Server or Reflector. I, I feel like once you understand how to use it, you're not going to stop using it. It's going to be a part of your teaching. So hopefully these examples will motivate you and get you interested in using your iPads a little bit more. So as you can see, right over here where you see the little white orb, that's where AirPlay's at. Right now it says my name for the AirPlay to work in my classroom. And you can see that there's two screens. You have what you see on my laptop screen, and you are seeing what is on my iPad. So if I have this plugged into the projector, you'll be able to see what I'm doing on my iPad. All right, so I'm gonna use my iPad. Right now, the projector is showing what's on my computer. You can see my desktop and everything. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to mirror what's on my iPad. So I'm going to flick this up. And right there is the AirPlay. I'm going to click on that and find my name. And there it is. So I just full screened my AirPlay image so that you can only see what's being shown from my iPad. And I can also record what is being done with my iPad. So if a student missed a lot of days, I can record my lessons for that student. Or if I want to reflect on how my lesson went, I can look through these recordings to kind of change up my tactics if I need to. So what I can do with this is I can find apps that go with my instruction. So for instance, this week in my class, we've been talking about the number line, talking about rounding. Well, I found an app called Battle Station and my class could be on the floor for whole group instruction. And I can do my instruction, but in a game sort of way. So right now, I can say to my students, if they have whiteboards, draw a number line from 0 to 10, making the dash marks of the number line. And then I can give my iPad to a student and have them guess where the number 10 is. Well, that one's going to be pretty easy, so the student can press it. So four. I can talk, well, is it going to be on this side? No, of course not, because four is less than five. Well, that means it's somewhere around in this area. Well, again, I can give it to a student, they can press it. And you can do this during your instruction. 
So if you have Envision Math, when you're watching videos, you can support what you're instructing by using these apps or finding apps that will go with that, that will support what you're doing. And kids really enjoy it. It's very different from just me lecturing to them about a concept. With this, a lot of kids are engaged. They want to be the next person holding the iPad. They want to play the game. So of course they're gonna be more engaged. So pretty cool, pretty neat tool that you can use for your instruction time, your whole group instruction time. Now, if you want, if you have multiple iPads or tablets, I can have multiple devices on the airplane. So right now, you should see you should see three screens and you can monitor students on what they're using, how they're using it. If you have a one-to-one -one classroom that has iPads, you can monitor the screens. So there's different ways that you can use this. Another way I've used this is to do another whole group. Maybe at the end of the day, we'll play some Mad Libs. And this is another great way. You can give the iPad to a student and they can write down the adjectives or the nouns that comes up. Uh, Mad Libs is free app. You can pay, purchase for more stories. But like this one says, 21 free stories that you can use. The ones with the question marks, like these, we have not used yet. So family rock band, let's try that. Replay story. So you can call on the students. At, again, whole group instruction. You can call on students and say, what's a good adjective? And if you have a lot of blank stares, you can click on the question mark and it'll give examples of adjectives. Still have some blank faces, go to the light bulb, and now you can just choose an adjective. Next one, last name, again. All right, so once you've added all the words in, now you can read the story. You can have a student read the story or you can read the story out loud. So that was mirroring in the classroom and how it supports the delivery of my instruction and how it keeps students engaged throughout my teaching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video and my channel to anyone you feel would benefit from it. See you next time.